So you have a pricing error on your listing. Let's fix it. What's up folks, I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group. We help you sell and succeed on Amazon. We manage clients that are small and large that sell on Shark Tank and we're on that one awesome TV show. And we even help the small clients manage their account, launch products and become medium to large clients over time. We've done it before with Amazon ag aggregators and everything in between. Let's dive in. Okay, so check out my screen right here. Maybe you've had this happen before. Most likely, if you've been selling on Amazon, you received this notification. You're like, what's going on? A potential high pricing error. It's a pain in the butt. Your listing can't be purchased. It's disappeared and you try to change the price and boom, it's still an error. It's not fixed. It takes forever to get fixed. How do we get this fixed and how do we get this fixed as quickly as possible to get your listing back up and selling? Let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is enable the minimum and maximum price shown here. If you don't know how to do that, you're gonna go into your inventory, you're gonna to go to preferences, and then you're going to see your minimum price, your maximum price. Enable that right now, go to save changes, and then boom, there's your minimum price and your maximum price. Make that right now. So if your item is priced $999, and it is supposed to be priced $999. Make sure that you have a good minimum and maximum price. So maybe let's do like $800 and then your maximum price is $1,200 and then click save. So that way, as long as your price is in between these, the error should not continue. Now it says to wait up to 15 minutes, but unfortunately, sometimes Amazon takes a whole hour or more to update your price, especially when there's an error. So wait about an hour after you implement this, set a timer and come back to see if it's fixed. Don't forget to refresh your screen to make sure that it's fully updated after a couple minutes. Okay, so number two, if it's still not working, that means that you probably increased your price too high too quickly or put your price too low too quickly. One of our clients increased their price by an extra $60 in one day, and it used to be $16.99, now it's $79.99, and they were still generating sales all of a sudden, boom, they got this pricing error. They're not generating sales anymore. What's happening? What's going on? And it was a strategy for them to increase their sales a lot faster once they started ranking. But anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to shoot that. If your price is too low, so this is probably too high. Let's assume that $999 for this item, this little pig, is too high. What we're going to do is we're going to drop it down to what the market's selling at. So look at the market and see what they're selling it at, right? Let's just, if they're selling at 149.77, you're going to want to drop it down and kind of get near what they're selling it as 149. Let's do 149.99 and then make sure you update your minimum and maximum price 140. And we're going to put this as 200. Right, so you wanna kinda of stay within your competitors in that category. Make sure you're also in the correct category. As you can see right here, they're in bladder control devices. If this is my competitor, just make sure you're in the right category because Amazon might be misidentifying identifying your product. Click save and then let's wait again an hour to make sure that it went through. Okay, so you come back and you're like, okay, I hope it's fixed. You refresh the page and boom, it's still not fixed. Now you're like, I wasted two hours. What am I doing? I'm pissed. Why are you telling me to do this, Josh? How do I fix this? Okay, we're gonna have to go to the final option and that's contacting Amazon. Before we do that, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do before you contact Amazon because you want it to be as, uh, the least stressful process that you can make it and that's by providing all the data. So you're gonna ensure you have a website with the correct price. So have that website link, right? If this is our website, EHP, and we have our product right here, right? It should have the correct price. So if I'm selling for $999, it should have it. You should have a link ready to go. Next, you should have a competitor with similar price. You're gonna take a screenshot of that competitor, right? Let's say this is our competitor, bada bing, bada boom, take a screenshot of them, take a screenshot of your website, write down that link, write down their link, and have that all set and ready to go before you contact Amazon seller support. Then you're gonna to go to help. You're gonna to go to my issue is not listed. And then you're gonna explain your issue. Okay, so this is what you're going to tell Amazon seller support 
Before we do this, make sure you take a screenshot of your pricing error. So if you have this, make sure you take a screenshot so they know. So now we've got the competitor with similar price. We've got the website with the correct price. We've got screenshots of all of that. And we got a screenshot of this. And now we're gonna reach out to Amazon. And what you're gonna say is, hi, please transfer this to the catalog team. You wanna transfer it to the correct team right away that can resolve the issue. This is a catalog issue. My product has a pricing error, image attached. As you can see, it should not have a pricing error. See the manufacturer website showing correct price as the price I am selling it at. And you make sure you put the image attached. And if you want, you can also put the manufacturer website, right? See competitor showing almost the same price as mine. Maybe it's the same price, maybe it's almost the same price. You can also change it to the exact one as the competitor price, so that way they won't have any disputes. And then the picture of the pricing error, I kindly ask you remove the pricing error. Continue, email Amazon, open that up, have everything attached, everything's attached now, it's in email format. Then you're gonna click call, you're gonna call them, you're gonna say, hey, I have a catalog issue, transfer me to the catalog team. They're gonna transfer you to the catalog team. You're gonna say, hey, what's your problem? And you're gonna say, my problem is listed in this case. Can you review my case and see the pictures attached? They're gonna review it and read everything and see the cases attached. And most likely, they're gonna be able to solve it on the spot. It may take 24 hours for them to fully solve it, but you're gonna provide them everything possible to get this solved. And that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe so we can move forward and you can move forward with selling on Amazon. We help you succeed on Amazon. You can get a proposal right here. We can solve a problem, grow sales faster, and we can even do a free ASIN audit for you. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. Have a good one.